Hey folks, my name is Girish Belly, the host for Back to Basics, another Back to Basics for another week. Today we're going to talk about mindfulness, we're going to talk about active and pause. Yes, active and pause. We actually never think about pausing a little and being silent. We always think of being active. What if we, happens if we put those two words together? And that's where this uh, guest comes in. His name is Serge, and he's going to talk about the mindfulness about active and pause. And what does all that mean to him? So, Serge, how are you? And thanks for coming to uh, Back to Basics. Very nice to be with you, Girish. Yeah, thank you again. Before we start on the active uh, pause and the mindfulness of what you believe in, what mm -hmm. does Back to Basic mean to you? Well, Back to Basic means going to what is fundamental, going what is essential. And uh, actually, it's very similar to what I would consider my definition of mindfulness, which is that you don't get sidetracked into things that are not really deeply meaningful. Hmm. And you put a lot of yourself into what really counts. Hmm. And in that sense, basics are the foundation, just like the, the cornerstone of a house, something that makes your life solid. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you again for explaining that. You know, is there a way that I can read a sentence that you actually wrote down on, on my web page? And when I asked you that, what does back to basic mean? Is it okay if I do mm -hmm. that? Uh, it says, a bored rage of interest approached in a down-to-earth manner. So can you explain that sentence to me, if you don't mind? Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, you know, for instance, my my way of describing my approach to mindfulness is to talk about it as down to earth. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, so the, the phrase down to earth has a meaning for me. And I used it because I saw a sense of kindred spirits with what you were doing. Mm -hmm. uh, so what what down to earth means is to not get sidetracked by mumbo jumbo. And, um, you know, some kind of, you know, um, mysticism that's misplaced. Hmm. I have nothing against being, I consider myself very prone to being spiritual or even mystical in a good way. Hmm. But what I don't like is when it's a fog that is hiding, preventing people from going to the essence of what things are hmm. or uh, using big words that are mystifying. Hmm. So that sense of being down to earth is a great quality for me. And again, that's where I see back to basics being, which is how to be down to earth and what focus on what is essential. Yeah. Thank you so much, Serge, for, uh, for those kind words, uh, 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 maybe to me or to back to basics. But thank you again for that. So, Serge, thank you. You know, let me ask you this. Uh, where did this active pause came in? Uh, because those are, uh, it's like an opposite word, isn't it? So can yeah, you explain yeah. that uh, uh, to me yeah. and, and the audience, what that means to you? Yeah, yeah. So I'm, yeah, of course. I mean, it's a, it's a deliberate choice to call it active pause because of the bit of a shock value. And the shock value is not, you know, uh, for anything else and simply to stop you on your tracks and say, hmm, what it is, these two words don't belong together, hmm. you know, like jumbo shrimp, you know, kind of thing. Sure, so we're, sure. We're, um, but, you know, then you, you ask yourself, but what, what really could make a pause active? Because taking a pause is like taking a rest. Okay, so, um, you know, what the concept is, is it's very different from, say, you're uh, listening to a, a video or an audio and you have the pause button. When you have the pause button on audio or video, uh, when you restart, it restarts exactly where it was. You haven't changed anything. Hmm. You just took literally a pause. As a human being, when you take a pause, uh, it's actually something where it gives you a chance to pay attention to what's happening inside hmm. uh, or to look outside hmm. and, you know, to, to really change where you are. Mm -hmm. uh, so in that sense, it's a very active process if you engage in it in a very active way. Yeah, yeah. Thank you again. You know, uh, on, on your website and, and where I looked at uh, on your site, uh, it actually said 
changing your life moment by moment, focus as an active pause. Yeah. So is that what you mean or is that something else? Because that, no, that is very that much is, what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So thank very you. That's what I mean. Th thank you. Thank you for explaining that because you know what? It's, it's great. Uh, the line is great. I mean, I'm going to use that quite often if that's okay with mm. you. So, yeah. you know, that sense of how, you know, the, 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 it's interesting, the concept of pause, you have a pause, you know, in, in you take a moment, you know, say you, you, you're engaged in a business endeavor and uh, you take a moment to plan or you take a moment to recap what's been doing. And so it's a pause, you know, in a, in a macro way, yeah. but there's also a micro moment, a pause moment by moment. And for instance, I'm talking to you and then suddenly, hmm, okay. Pause a little bit to say, I'm not just going to continue on a, you know, default mode, but is it really what I'm saying? Hmm, hmm. Okay. And so just, you have the micro pauses, the larger pauses, the long pauses, but all of it is actually gives some kind of a rhythm hmm. to life uh, that is kind of a, a feedback mechanism where you have... Um, a chance to see where you're going, what's happening, and to change the course. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you again, uh, Serge. Let me ask you this. For example, obviously, this is a, uh, you know, audio uh, platform of uh, this podcast and also video mm -hmm. too, right? But for example, mm -hmm. for example, if we made a test here to stay quiet for one minute, People will think that there's something wrong with the audio, there's something wrong with the internet, there's something wrong with the buffering, there's something wrong with my mic and your mic, and I can go on if I want. But what are your thoughts on that? Because uh, are we acting or reacting or or passive reacting? So you please explain that. Yeah, listen, it's a totally normal phenomenon that people... You know, if there's a silence, they figure, oh, there's something wrong, and they might not even take time to investigate, but click stop and go somewhere else. Um, and, you know, but it would be different, for instance, if we had a video as opposed to an audio. Hmm. And, um, you know, during the, we announced that there is a pause, and people can check that actually we are in something that seems like a thoughtful or a mindful meditative pause during that time. Hmm. It would be even easier if you have a, a clock symbol that shows people that say uh, 20 seconds of the, of the 60 seconds of pause are relapsed hmm. so that people have a sense of tracking it. Right. And why? It's because uh, if essentially we like communication. So if something suddenly stops, it feels like, you know, somebody dropped you and, and then it's unsettling. Hmm. So if you have not just the audio, but you have the visual, and if you have, for instance, that clock that tells you how much of a time to wait before the talking continues again, then you're not abandoned hmm. as a listener. Hmm. And there is a sense of connection hmm. and it allows you to withstand you know, that one minute of pause, which otherwise it's a little bit weird. You know, if you're a listener, you want people to be connected with you. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. you know, the thing is, let me let me uh, come up with a scenario, if you don't mind. So yeah. a, a person who, uh, and I don't like to use the word blind, but or, or, or deaf or anything like that. So there's an example, if a person is deaf, he's completely silent. He, she is completely silent, right? How would they react to all this? So why can we regular folks take a minute and just sit down and relax and understand from their psych analysis of how they're going through? I think we take our senses uh, for granted and not think that it's okay to be silent. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's all a question of context. So let's say... Um, you know, you're in a room with people and you decide with the room, you know, we're going to take a moment of silence hmm. and you decide on a length. And so the, everybody's been involved. Uh, you know, you wanted originally to sit silent for an hour and people, other people wanted for 20 minutes. You decide on 35 minutes. 
So everybody has contributed their thing. It's a, it's a, you know, you feel like you're all together in that same place, and there's a sense of mutual support in doing it. Yeah. But um, if you're someplace and somebody arbitrarily decides to stop connecting hmm. for a certain amount of time, hmm. uh, and you're not involved in it, it's not just about silence. It's about, you know, essentially they arbitrarily broke the connection without mm. consulting you. Mm. So, um, you know, in some ways, you know, whenever we make the decision personally to take a pause and it's thought out and, you know, I do it because I want to, and I want the benefit of it, even just to explore it, then I'm going to be more able to tolerate the silence. Mm. than if somebody tells me you have to stay silent for say 20 minutes, mm. or you have to be sitting in a meditation pause, you know, posture for 20 minutes so is it time yet you know just uh, because it's not something that involves your own free will hmm. you know it's it's something that feels arbitrary so and so it's understandable so with that example you're saying that we focus not on being silent for 20 minutes we actually focusing on the timer that how much time yeah. do we have left if you if you um, if it's something that you don't choose, hmm. essentially what you're doing is you say when is this over? So the so the, with that example, I think the key is what you want to focus on. I think that's the key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's why mindfulness, you know, is is something the that whole concept of uh, you know that, that being you know directed of, of, of what it is is mindfulness works only to the extent that you decide it's for me it's not something i'm doing because somebody tells me it's good mm. and you know what do i do during that time mm. how do i get engaged mm. and so it's bringing your curiosity to what you're exploring during that time mm. and that curiosity could be um just the traditional thing of paying attention to your breath yeah it could yeah. be paying attention to your posture Hmm. It could be paying attention to your nervous system activation, hmm. you know, that sense of restlessness that you have. But essentially, it is something where you genuinely uh, get interested and focusing on something as opposed to simply, oh, you know, I'm waiting for it. It's just uh, waiting for this to end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, and it's, again, that concept of why it's very active. You know, if people think a pause or a meditation is something you do where you sit down and, you know, you just wait it out, um, you know, it's boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Serge, uh, let me, let me, uh, we're going to pause a little if you don't mind. And, and I, I want to find out from you, when did Serge become Serge? Because it seems like you have done a lot. I mean, I've seen your website. I, I've seen your work. So... Can we explain to uh, to the audience that who you are and how Serge became the Serge he is today? Well, okay. <laughs> so I take a pause. Um, and uh, I'm a therapist. Uh, and uh, like probably most therapists, I came to my work because of my own interest in figuring out who I am and how I can overcome whatever challenges I have and achieve personal growth. Uh, I'm very interested in doing that. Uh, you know, it feels wonderful to do it when I work with clients. And I also love that idea of um, helping people help themselves hmm. and achieve personal growth, achieve, um, you know, relief from the things that bother them. Uh, by doing it, working on it themselves, or um, working on it in groups, hmm. facilitate conversations with groups. Hmm. So uh, I have been exploring by myself and with colleagues and with friends a lot of different ways in which we can do it ourselves. And I really like the idea of transmitting that experience to people so that other people can also um, explore you know ways to be more of who they are meant to be yeah 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 thank you again Serge, for uh, explaining that so now uh, now that we did the pause now let's go to the active if you don't mind sure so so now uh, the next question is 
if a couple walks down the street, a couple, a husband, wife, or any any couple, okay, they're walking down the street and they're not talking to each other, but they're enjoying the scenery, they're enjoying the walk. So which means that they're silent. Is that okay to be silent? Because some people, they do complain that how come you're not talking while we're walking? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, anything is depends on the context. Hmm. Um, it's, you know, the, the, the one of the, the great things that uh, some movies are based on showing you something, and then uh, you go back in, you know, as the movies unfold, you go back to see what happened before. Before, right. You know, what happened an hour earlier or what happened six months earlier. And, uh, and, and so that scene that you saw uh, takes on a totally different value hmm. now that you understand better what the context was. Hmm. So you have this couple walking in the streets and they're not talking. But essentially, uh, what you see is that before that, they just had a wonderful time together, uh, and the walking uh, is for them basking in that sense of connection they have by simply being together, and they have the luxury of feeling that, wow, we don't even need words to feel very close together. Mm. Great. Mm. Okay. But you imagine that the scene that you see before is these two people have had terrible fights and now they just uh, really enjoy or, you know, kind of a weird enjoyment, but punish each other by giving each other the silent treatment. Hmm. And so you see it, as it says, the silence is full of resentment, hmm. you know, and full of distance. Hmm. And what you almost perceive is that they are throwing daggers, you know, uh intentionally in 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 spirit hmm. so yeah obviously that's a really very uncomfortable place hmm. yeah for sure you know, and all kinds of other contexts you know so that's why i'm thinking it depends on the context yeah 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 i mean i after all the the questions i've asked you i think most of the answers were contents and try to understand what the background is uh for those situations so i mm -hmm. i totally agree with that so thank you again for explaining that now what does mindfulness mean to you? Is it more focused nowadays after what the crisis that we have gone through in the, these 19 months? Or was it always like that for you for years? Uh, I think uh, it's, um, it's hard. It would be impossible to live through these 19 months and not to be changed. Right. Uh, so... Absolutely. It has, um, it has focused, it has sharpened a lot of my interests hmm. and uh, broadened some of the areas and gave more focus to others. Hmm. Um, you know, as we were talking about before, context is really important. We don't do things without a context. Right. So, uh, you know, what, what these 8, 19 months have brought is a sense of what it's like to be connected versus disconnected hmm. ways to in which we need to be more connected to others and to ourselves inside hmm. uh you know and uh and ways to deal with adversity hmm. and so all of these have shaped the way i think about mindfulness hmm. you know uh n now that we're kind of kind of uh, in a pause for these 19 months and 20 months that we've been in so far do you do you think that we are focusing more on ourselves now and and we should have been thinking for years do you think that this is more of a reboot for all of us to understand that this is a new world we're living in or this is the new world that i'm living in what what are your thoughts on that I think I think everybody's very different on that. It's amazing to you know talking to different people, and I'm sure you see that as sure you, you you see different people so often. But some people, for some people, uh, this has been uh, an opening, an invitation to go deeper into that sense of mindfulness, thoughtfulness, self exploration. Uh, encouraging them to value the connections they have and the richness of it or develop connections. 
Um, for some people, it's been a miserable experience of being, you know, deprived of what made their life meaningful. Right. Um, you know, not to mention the ways in which the economic hardships may have affected people uh, in a way that, you know, of course, affect their spirit. So I think the, it's to me, my, my sense of it is um, it has affected people in so many different ways. But speaking to the people who, for whom it has been an, an opening, an encouragement um, to go deeper into understanding themselves and connecting with others, uh, yeah, I think that these are people I want to really support, encourage to to go in that way and share tools to do that with. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the reasons why we're we're doing this episode to help uh, people like those and help people, others, even beyond that, sometimes they need some support in many different ways because they're who have been suffering for years and years about mental issues and, and it's okay to focus on yourself instead of others. So I think this is one of the reasons why I brought you on this show uh, to, to go back to basics, to understand and help people in whatever way and form. So, Serge, thank you again for, for coming here and supporting me also, uh, because you know what, it's it's not an easy task for, for you and me. I mean, other people, they have to do it, but we are just here to help out. We're just here as a tool uh, in, in different ways, in different form. Don't you agree? I totally do. I yeah. think you said it very well. Yeah, yeah. So thank you again for that. But Serge, before you leave the show today, uh, how is your journey on Back to Basics? And do you have any last words for, for the audience and my uh, listeners? Yeah, yeah. I think that uh, I would encourage people to keep thinking of um, Back to Basics in a sense of going to what really matters and not to think of the what really matters as something that's an intellectual construct but to think of it in terms of moment by moment, you know, taking that active pause and saying, hmm, what is it that matters right now? Hmm. Ah, okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, so that they, there's a cultivating a sense of harmony of doing what it is you really want. Or sometimes, of course, we don't always do what we want, hmm. but we're conscious of saying, well, I'm fully aware that if I want, if I had total freedom, this is what I would do. Hmm. And I'm accepting that right now I can't, hmm. but, you know, how am I going to make it up for myself? Hmm. And so that sense of, you know, introducing self, you know, in life, in a realistic way, but also in a very compassionate and loving way. Yeah, yeah. Thank you again, Serge, for for being here again. Uh, all the support that you've given me so far, uh, and hopefully we'll keep in touch even after offline too. Yeah, because you're yeah, so. you're you're an amazing person to get to know and 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 you know uh, uh, dissect all the knowledge that you have in your brain, and we'll we'll just take it out of you. So thank you again for that. You're very welcome, Girish. Ah, thank you. I enjoyed this. Thank you. So guys, we spoke with Serge today and we talked about the basics of mindfulness. We talked about active and pause. We tend to forget to pause, silent, be silent. It's okay to be silent. Sometimes, you know, there was a question that I asked Serge that, you know, when we we're listening to music or when we we're listening to some audio platform like mine, for example, and if, if there's a pause for a minute, you think that you didn't pay your bill or the internet went down or maybe you're buffering. That's not the case. It's okay to pause. Okay. But just like the way I'm pausing right now. So guys, as usual, as always, there is a quote of the day from back to basics and uh, hopefully Serge will like that. The quote of the day is mindfulness isn't difficult. We just need to remember to do it. Now, guys, believe me, mindfulness is the easiest thing only if you make effort to it because it comes within you it's a willing as usual as always what do i always say at the end of the episode everything in life goes back to basics and that's what we did today guys keep on commenting as much as you can on all my episodes so far because your comment makes my episodes and my show the greatest one of all
And there are three things it makes this show successful in every episode, which is the content, the guest, and definitely the host. Guys, take care. God bless. And see you next week. Next week's episode on Back Hard. To Basics. Because you know what? Uh, people have gone through so much a trauma and, they're, and, and the human tendency is not to forget. <laughs> so how do you forget and how do you forgive? That's a big, huge leap. Uh, and and I, I don't know how, how you do it and how anyone can do it. it it's very, very hard. What, what are, you know, is there like a tidbit that you can share? Maybe one or two uh, tidbits uh, or like a trick of how to forget? Yeah, well, one of the things I do is I have them talk about the future as if it's already happened. So imagine that, let's say today was April 15th, 2022, that today was April 15th, 2023. And we're best friends and we haven't seen each other in a year. And I want you to, you know, just sit down.